lobotomy, a procedure that gained popularity in the early 20th century, was once hailed as a medical breakthrough for treating mental illnesses. But behind its initial promise lies a darker truth. In the 1930s, Dr. Walter Freeman and Dr. Agas Moniz developed a surgical technique that involved severing connections in the brain's prefrontal cortex. They believed this could alleviate symptoms of mental disorders, such as schizophrenia and depression. Lobotomy involved inserting an instrument, like an ice pick, through the eye socket into the brain, then moving it side to side to sever the neural pathways. It was often performed without anesthesia and carried significant risks. Thousands of patients underwent this procedure, with mixed and often devastating results. While some reported temporary improvements, others experienced personality changes, memory loss, or even became completely incapacitated. Lobotomy was viewed as a quick fix for mental illness without fully understanding the complexities of the human brain. The widespread use of lobotomy eventually declined in the 1950s with the advent of new psychiatric medications and the development of more effective therapies.